rising sea levels have made once unreachable corners of the bayou accessible. The Fawtick Bayou area has lost 63 acres of marshland due to saltwater intrusion. Good job. Also, good morning, Lima. How you doing? Good job, Ben, but Ben got you to it. <laughs> Shame. Should have hit the first first. Maybe I should make that cheaper. Do I need to make that cheaper? I don't know. Anyway, good morning, both, every, both you, Lima and Ben. Ben really just loves getting that one. <laughs> I got the shark, but I don't know what else we're doing here. How you guys doing today? Didn't even know about that. <laughs> She's so thirsty. Well, we know who that is. <laughs> and now we're going to play everything at the same time. <laughs> Not Lima claiming first. I know, I know. I know. It was so close. Lima didn't know. Lima didn't know. So, Lima, the uh, whaling cred that. <laughs> Don't touch my button. <laughs> what button? <Clapping. laughs> so, the uh, channel points, the sounds are being redeemed by channel points. This better not awaken anything. So, there's anything so much me. there. One of those is the first button, so. Oh, you de yeah, I guess you would know. Pretty sure you sent a few sounds the other day, so. Yeah. <laughs> Reverend, welcome back. Good morning. Hope you're doing well. I added that just for you, buddy. How's everybody doing today on this fine Monday morning? Where'd you go, you son of a bitch? There it is. There we go. <laughs> Love it and I'm honored. I don't know if honored is the word. I just thought you would enjoy that, so I went ahead and found it for you. It was not easy to do, though. Guy, you would need a preview of that. <laughs> Bet him right before he ends every day, and then I'll and then again after I get first at the beginning of the stream. Oh yeah. But I told you not to abuse your powers unless it's funny, and that is that is kind of funny. Amber sucks. That's so I hear. You need to walk through Mordor to find it, right? It was not easy. It was not easy for sure. Or I just. You know, did a search on the blurp soundboard thing. Okay, there, where even is this damn... Okay, that's really far. How do you even get to that shit? That's all the way there. Jesus. <laughs> Impossible. I know, right? <laughs> All the sounds, all at once. I have... Where are the license... Okay. That's right, the license plates are big, but... <laughs> Poor Lima. He's just like, yeah, I, I want to play too, but I don't have all the things. Do I not have the double jump yet? I do not. Okay, so I'm not even going to be able... I don't got the lung capacity to get up there and get that yet. Jesus. Number one in... Oh, I thought, I thought you meant... I thought you meant bits. Or butts. God damn sharks. 
I'm sorry, alligators. That's not what I wanted. I just didn't want the damn turtle. Okay, you know what? Fuck this. <laughs> Way to be classes, some of us are poor. <laughs> Look, we've gone over this time and time and time again. I don't want your money anyway. I appreciate it, but I don't want it. I want Twitch's money, so... Make us famous. This is my last one. <laughs> 40 on that sound. <laughs> ben, so what is the objective of this game? So, you're a shark. And you eventually must avenge the death of your mother. Yeah, eat, eat fish, kill, repeat. Yeah. But there is a story. There is a story. Okay, so that's way the fuck over there. Okay. I'm not going to do all the missions. It's not going to be a thing. But yes, your mother gets fished up by... Uh, what's, his, what's his name? Pete. His name is Pete. Something Pete. I don't remember the full thing. Pete. See a human that looks like Amber in the game. Eat her, spit her out, and eat her again, and then shit her out. <laughs> Oh, don't worry. If I see one that looks like Amber, she'll get eaten. Am I going the wrong way? I am going the wrong way. Pete killed your mom and, yeah, bit off his arm. Yeah. Chris Parnell did do the narration, so every time I hear his voice, I feel like Jerry Smith is spitting facts back at me. <laughs> well, Amber's. Ooh. Family Channel. Ooh, I mean, I know I already basically alluded to that, but okay. Who is it? Chris Parnell? I'm like, who is that? I know the name, and I can't think of the face. Okay, him. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I know who he is. I haven't seen 30 Rock, so I think that was like the big thing. But yes, we'll see if we can find one that looks like Amber. And if it does, we are so gonna eat her. Just for you, buddy. She'll come home today, she'll suck you up tonight. <laughs> well, good. I'm glad. It's been an exhausting weekend for me, so I'm, you know, I get it. I get it. I can't complain. If we ever see humans, I haven't seen any humans in a while, actually. But... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we a little nasty. Beat the game last night. I saw you were you were streaming it, right? Stealing my ideas and shit. Trying to trying to be me. Is that what it is? You can't be me. You can't. It's not possible. <laughs> no one has to have a way to boast. <laughs> Alright, kids, settle down. Don't make me find out a way to separate you guys. Oh, yeah, no, this gator is kicking my ass. Get the fuck out. <laughs> I was playing Manator before you, but I'll let you use my idea. I mean, technically, I don't remember who said it first. Did you say it first in here? No, you said Dead by Daylight. Somebody else said Man Eater because it's free on Epic. And I was like, you know, I did download that. Crocodilio. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get that motherfucker. I'm not going to finish these missions. I'm not. I'm not. That is so far. You know what? What? You know what? Rather ostentatious of you, right? I mean, we can always check. We can check the chat. I recommend waited before when I got the game. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Regardless, how did you enjoy the game? I can't. See, I can't do this shit where it's like, hey, you gotta kind of fight these. I can't get that shit because I can't lock on. There's not a full lock on, is there? Other people credit I'm used to it. Hey, 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 hey. We uh, 
I have made you mod, so you have power now. You should at least be thankful for that. Second playthrough, didn't fight Pete last time because I didn't want my shark to die. I beat him this time. Nice. So you just plain didn't. Okay. Am I supposed to... Each gate has a switch. Try to hit it with something. Okay. But where's the switch? God of War is free on PS Plus, so I'm playing that at the moment. Yeah, I probably should play God of War. I started to at one point, I just didn't get through it, so I had an issue when I first started playing it. It was on my PS4. I don't have a PS4 Pro, and my PS4 is older, so it struggled with that game. So I think I hit a point where it was just too bad quality for me to try... Uh, for me to finish, essentially. Now on the PS5, I'm sure it's going to run amazingly well, so I probably the should do that. Eats fish, octopi, and Where's this button? I don't... I don't see a button. So I got a war. God of War didn't have DLC, I don't think. Yeah. Man eater. I didn't know there was one. Yeah, I didn't know either. How am I supposed to get this? It says there's a button. I don't see a goddamn button. Some sort of Apex DLC. I've been on the fence about getting. Oh, it's so it's more missions and stuff, I assume. Um, look at that alligator. It knows. It knows it can kick my ass. It's waiting. I can't even get through here. What? How am I supposed to get through? Play powder, as I recommend. Just kidding. The only one on here, no cap. Amber, show respect to me. <laughs> I'm the OG one here. Yeah, that's true. Not true. I mean, it is true that you're the OG one here. Even <laughs> taste what I ate the night before. Joke's on you, I'm into that, kinda. Not like the nasty part of it. But... God of War 2 or 5, I guess, is announced already. Yeah. Yeah, they did. Chicken last night. Last night I had I had cheesy Italian shells hamburger helper because I was cooking lazy last night. Yeah, I don't know how I'm supposed to get through there. Yeah, Ragnarok is the uh, next one. Yeah, yeah. They've announced the fuck out of that. They've been waiting. That's why... So here's the shitty thing. Here's a really shitty thing is that um, God of War was already free. God damn it. Was already free through the uh, PlayStation Hits catalog for the PlayStation Plus members. So them making it free again was weird. Because it's like I already, already have this in my library because you gave it to me. See, I can't quite get the hang of this shit. If I could fully lock on, it'd be fine. And then I keep skimming, and that sucks. Where the hell? Damn it, stop it. I mean, do I just... Am I just over here sucking at this game, I guess? I don't know. Seems to be the case. A bull shark is an animal of broad dietary proclivities. Eh. Miles Morales is great, yeah. You shark. Finally, 
Sorry, I'm totally missing out on all of chat, don't spoil. Yeah, Miles Morales is great. Beat Spider-Man 100% and did the hardest game mode. Early game of this, I remember, is really grindy. Yeah, it does seem very grindy, Reverend. Definitely that. Just getting bigger and bigger until you can take on the shit to get out. Yeah, seems about right. Lima, I'm a huge Spider-Man fan. Yeah, you kind of got to be at this point. I don't know how you can not like Spider-Man. Now it's going to work with both of them. It is the sequel. It's going to work with both of them. It's the sequel. I'm not sure what you mean, Ben. Both PS4 or 5 Spider-Man games are by far the best Spider-Man games ever made. Yeah, they definitely are. And they are coming to P uh, PC as well. So if you haven't been able to play, at least the first one's coming to PC. Um... Now's the time. It's gonna become available, so... Yeah. But, oh yeah, with both of them, that's right, because in the sequel it's gonna be both more Miles and Peter, and I wonder if they're gonna have multiplayer or not. That's what I wonder. Stop skimming the goddamn surface, would you? Jesus! How? 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 Stop targeting other things. Come on. Ah, son of a bitch. Oh, because there's another one. Because that's what I need in my life is two fucking alligators, right? Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, epic batter. I'm going to lose. I have no chance of winning this epic battle. Oh, God. And I don't know how I'm supposed to get to the button to get to the next area. So. There didn't have to be two, you know. Like, there could have just been one fucking alligator, but no. I mean, they are both technically prehistoric creatures, right? Am I cheesing my way into this? I think I might be, and I don't care. Whoa, get a fish, get a fish, get a motherfucking fish! go. Oh, we're gonna cheese my way into this for sure, yeah. Death roll. Okay. Take that gator. Alligator, more like f fuck you, gator. buy a PS5 for Miles Morales, but since it's coming on PC, I'm really excited. Yeah, you don't have to have it for PS5. You can play it on PS4. It still plays great. Yeah. Played on PS4. Great game. Talon was just starting out gaming then. Is there another goddamn sh alligator around? No. Okay. I mean, yeah, but not immediately around. Sorry, I'm just like... <laughs> Peter Jackson's brain dead, dead alive. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember when that came out. I haven't seen it in years, though. Such a beautiful love story. At least that's what I'm telling the girlfriend when I show her this evening. Yeah, it's pretty much what you could do. 
<laughs> it's one of gave Peter a different face later. They wanted to make him more in line with his with uh, Tom Holland, I think is what they had said. But yeah, Peter Jackson Peter Jackson's Dead Alive is pretty goddamn great. Right, maybe we maybe we can kill that thing, whatever it is. Bad day sunshine. I mean that's what we need to be doing, right? Ta -da! Yeah, it was like New Zealand's answer to Evil Dead, right? I know it was, uh, well, no, it wasn't his first movie. His was Meet the Feebles, I want to say, which I haven't seen. I think it is another weird kind of horror movie, though. His one like coffee is best coffee, no cap. <laughs> um, I much prefer a caramel macchiato myself, but to each their own. Definitely not judging. <laughs> How nasty to like a caramel macchiato? I like caramel macchiato. Caramel macchiatos are the best. Well, of course you agree with the streamer. Always agree with the streamer. Always. Plus, it's I'm just I'm right. <laughs> I do enjoy them though. Coffee is definitely my thing. And this is gonna be a pretty chill game when we play, except when there's an alligator or some shit. Because I'm gonna freak the fuck out. But <laughs> streamer then wait for streamer to say more things to agree with. Right? <laughs> exactly. The green tea frap from Starbucks. I have not had a green tea frap. I, uh... I don't like green tea, and I'm not a big fan of, like, frappuccinos and stuff, so my big thing is I like hot coffee more than anything. I don't do iced coffee very often. Ah, fuck you! What was that, even? Ah. ah, shit. I've died Alligator so much. Comes from the Spanish El Lagarto, which <laughs> the lizard. Uh. <laughs> God damn it. I just want to, I like, I just want to go and do some of these things. I don't want to deal with the rest of this bullshit. I want to deal with the alligators, you know? In cranny of the swamp. I get it, it's part of the game, the but... Cajuns that fish and trap here don't use oh, wow. Or GPS Heather Sullivan wants to send me a message on Instagram. She's pretty hot, so it's a trap. Gotcha. Yeah, it's... Love that shit. Who, who agrees to that stuff? Can't get full. I'm eating everything. I'm gonna run out of food. Are you high, Ambers? Are you high? It's literally the whole game. Oh, no, I thought you were just talking... Okay. <laughs> yeah, that is... You are absolutely correct. That is the whole game. And I'm okay with that, but I'm just like, why do we have to have these arbitrarily high-level things around just to be annoying, you know? Because I'm like, I can't, haven't got to a point where I can get anything to get new genes for the evolution or anything, right? So I'm like, what, what am I supposed to do? Just keep upgrading my goddamn sonar? Ooh. Sonar. Woohoo. If a mighty need to eat everything. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Reverend. Exactly. I mean, I feel it. That's been me. I almost... This is how bad I've been. I just wanted some snacks. Right? I just wanted some snacks. And then I didn't get snacks. I try not to get snacks when I go grocery shopping. Uh, because I try to not have them around. Because if they're around, then I'm, I'm eating them. And that's just 
bad. I don't want to do that. I don't want to sit around and just snack all the time on chips and cookies and God knows what else I'm going to buy, right? So, I almost door dashed fucking candy yesterday. Like, that's how bad it is. And I was just like, yeah, no, I can't. I can't do that. <laughs> so I did not. But God, I wanted America, to. Turtle frolics were popular gatherings where guests ate turtle stew and perpetuated the institution of slavery. <laughs> what the fuck? Turtle frolic. Given it's like real life, I'm the shark, my GF is a person, I'ma eat them. Yeah. Yeah, every chance you get. That's how it goes. Given the equivalent of being high on edibles on a 7 Eleven at 3 in the morning. <laughs> yeah. Again, I think that's I think that's accurate. I think that's accurate. Oh, 15 ain't happening. Ain't happening. DoorDash is an amazing thing. DoorDash is a super amazing thing. We live in an amazing time. Over here, level 5 and shit. That's, leave me alone. Oh <laughs> That's. God, what's the line he says before that? They ate him. And now they're gonna eat me too. Oh my god! <laughs> Fucking trolls too. It's so bad. Here's what we should do. I wonder if we can. I wonder if we can. Um, if we can do like a watch party for a movie sometime. We'll pick like shitty movies like that. Are there two fucking alligators here again? God damn it. Why? Required adult. Okay, so you're just like, nah, you just can't get through here right now. Cool. Thanks. Appreciate it. Vacationing to Nilbog, exactly. Wait, Nilbog is goblin backwards. Whoa. <laughs> hey, there we go. I am down mean a few friends pretty much do the same thing over some drinks, right? Like, how fun is that? It's super fun. Um, I would like to do that. That's one of the things that I do enjoy is... Striptease or Forrest Gump, because I love both the books and movies. Striptease movie. Not sure what that one is. That's just getting porn for me, really. Okay, let's talk about the one with Demi Moore. Yeah, the one with Demi Moore, right? If I watch Stranger Things, I am all caught up on Stranger Things, waiting for the fucking next bit to come out. Undiscovered! Well, woo -hoo -hoo. Let's see if we can discover it, then. I don't think I'm going the wrong way to discover it. Yeah, I'm all caught up on it, so that actually is fair. If um, I mean, we could talk about Stranger Things. I can do that, like, all goddamn day. Problem is, I don't want to hit spoilers for people, you know. Demogorgon is daddy. <laughs> I, how exactly... Okay, so it's like over here. Have a few bad ones. Night Beast is one of the best bad horror movies I've seen in my life. Me and my friends are currently going through the Troma streaming service. Oh god, I hate the Troma movies though. Because they're way too bad. Like, I get it, but fuck, they're way too goddamn bad. I can't do them. And I don't think it's even so much that they're bad. It's just, they're disgusting. And I think that's it more than anything. And I know that's their their thing, right? That's that's just their thing. I just can't. I can't. They're just too bad. Like it's not fun bad for me. 
searching for anything. This new character in the new season, in my opinion, is Enzo. Enzo. I can't even remember who the hell that is. <laughs> Are we still talking about Stranger Things? <laughs> okay, Enzo. Russian. Yeah, Russian. Yeah, he's pretty good. He's pretty good. Eddie's all right. Eddie's a pretty good character, though. You can't can't go wrong with Eddie. I I had to Google it. I'm not gonna lie. I totally had to Google it. We treat it like we're a panel on MSC3K. Right? Exactly. That's what I'm saying. That's that's how you do it. That is absolutely how you do it. And that's what makes it fun as fuck for sure. When you watch bad movies. <laughs> Yeah, Eddie. Now, here's the fun thing. One fun thing that I noticed. So, when the season started and we were watching it, I looked at the fiance and I was just like, you know what it feels like? This almost feels like Nightmare on Elm Street. That's kind of what it feels like, is Nightmare on Elm Street. And she was just like, yeah, I can kind of see it. I don't think she really did very much, but she was like, yeah, you know, I, I guess so. I guess that could be a thing. And then later on, who shows up? Robert Englund. Right? So. This the actor, the prisoner. Yeah. Completely lacking in what made There's better. A lot of people like, hi, dude. Argyle. Yeah, Argyle. Yeah, yeah. Argyle. Argyle is great, too. He's fun. For sure. Critic once wrote that Amos Beauregard was the Rodan. I was close to D&D heavy metal guy, so personal connection. Yeah, did you have a long hair and shit, dressing all black? H hate the cool kids. <laughs> Not knowing that later you would be one of the cool kids. Oh, yes, you are. You're here. You're one of the cool kids. The Notebook. Sorry, Ambers. Just saw that. The Notebook. I will not actually watch The Notebook. Yep, Patch Jacket was a dick. Yeah. I'm stuck. <laughs> All right, children, y'all, y'all need to calm down a little bit. You know, if I was a pussy, if I was a pussy, this is just because you are what you eat, which is why you was an asshole. <laughs> down he said he's a pussy but he starts getting confident precisely which is good yeah lots of people think he's gonna die dude yeah I, I can't say I disagree I can't say I disagree I feel like he might I feel like they're gonna kill some some main cast I feel like someone in main cast is gonna be off this time somebody's gonna go I hope it's not Steve if it's Steve I'm gonna be upset she had jumped a few times for being a satanic kid. You wind up learning the ropes. Right? Exactly. Exactly. It's... No, I feel... It. Been there, done that. Been there, done that. That was... Yeah. I wasn't even that bad. I was not even that bad. I feel like Eddie is doomed. Now, here's the other... Here's... <laughs> hmm. Here's the disturbing thing. So... Vecna has apparently been in the Upside Down for decades, right? For decades. So, I don't want Jonathan to die. He's my favorite low-key of all the cast members. Yeah, Jonathan's good too. I mean, they're all good. They're all good. Um, but here's my problem. Vecna's been in the Upside Down for that long, right? Since, you know what? No. You know, I was wrong. If I was wrong. Vecna has not, because he actually technically... Alright, so, before we go on to things, let's take one moment. Let's take one moment and say that um, if, if you haven't watched and caught up on Season 4 of Stranger Things, be warned, we're talking spoilers now. Because I'm just like, fuck it, it's been out long enough. If you haven't watched it by now, go watch it. Just go watch it. No, we don't want to have to not talk about it until who knows when, you know. So, 
excuse me. So if you are here and haven't seen any of that, uh, feel free to mute the stream, excuse yourself if you need to, as much as we will miss you. Um, do what you gotta do. Oh, I can get up there. I'm gonna get up there. What are you doing here? Just go watch it now. Right, exactly. Watch it now. What are you doing? Watch it. Get out of here. Ah, uh, they're gonna make me get lung capacity. are you supposed to? I'm gonna die out here. Oh god. <laughs> I don't think you can reach that. Um, I can't reach it jumping. If I had to double jump, I could. Because you do have a double jump you can get. If I had to double jump, I could. Or if I had high enough lung capacity, I could jump my way down. I don't have either of those right now, though, so... Gotta get bigger. That's what she said. One size bigger. What the hell? Why? Why is there always a goddamn alligator? Oh, it's okay. There's another one. We can probably get to that one. <laughs> Fuck off! Jesus! Ooh. Could you imagine seeing a fucking shark doing that, though? So long, turtle. See you in St. Louis. <laughs> he ain't even flopping. He ain't even flopping. I feel bad for him. Let's finish him off. There we go. Remember, when you're eating, always finish your meals. No matter what you're eating. Anyway. Did did look like the Upside Down was created when Eleven blew up one, and that's why he's stuck in time. You know... I don't think it was created. I don't. I, I don't think that. Because... I just don't. Because even if that, if that was what created it, where did everything else come from? Where did the Demogorgon come from? The Demogorgon was there. Already. Well, no, okay, no, I don't. No, I see what you're saying, because it was twice, right? Alright, so. Okay, so, no, I see what you're saying. So, when you say created, you're talking about when she originally fought Dude who became Vecna and blasted him through there. That was what actually created it. And then, the years later. Well, and then years later, when she runs into the Demogorgon, and that's what punches the hole in again. So, I don't think she created it, but I think she punched that first hole, and then closed it back up right away, right? Yeah. So it was created a few years prior. Yeah, exactly. Um, God, there is so much to that that's like, what the fuck is going on? Um... Fuck off, alligator. I ain't trying to fuck with you. I'm just gonna sit on the boat until he goes away. Just go away. Explore a little, I guess. Nothing. See, there's like nothing. There's there's nothing here. It's not like there's any people. Oy. At the very least, time moves a few years slower than in the present. Right, time moves super slow, which could potentially be why it's stuck there. So my, the thing I always found... The thing I found interesting and kind of ridiculous is um, that it mirrors 
the real world way too much, but I guess they kind of solved that. But like... So they explained the lamp thing, how Will in the first season was able to manipulate the, the lights, the Christmas lights. And um, what it doesn't explain is how he knew which letters were which. How did he know that that's how they were placed? Like, it doesn't explain that at all. I get that he could, you know, see the weird lightning bug thingies in the air and that he probably touched it and, you know, where it's thinner than other places. Like, I get some of that, but they didn't explain how he could tell. I say Vecna can sent the de Demogorgon. Maybe. Maybe. I, I don't recall that being specifically said. But maybe. Maybe he was reaching out too, and I don't know. The dust reminded me of the Golden Compass novels. I have not read or seen the Golden Compass. I apologize. Multiple creatures and Demogorgons. I'm curious how the Mind Flayer plays into this. So I'm curious because... Alright. How the fuck did Will survive a week? How? Right? Like, that's my big thing. Because Vecna was already there. He'd already created... You know, been working for a few years before that first hole. Or the second hole was punched into it, right? So presumably there would be more than just the one Demogorgon there. Right now, I mean, now you've got the flying creatures, you've got the weird vines, you got all this shit. The vines were always there, by the way. They were always shown as part of it. Um, so there were always vines like that in, in, the, uh, in the Upside Down. So he should have known Will was there. How did Will survive? Right? Like, that's that's where my mind is right now, as far as that goes. I don't know how I'm supposed to get this damn thing open. Everyone also dies immediately. Yeah, everybody died really quick in there. So, yeah, I don't understand some of that stuff. Its next meal. I just want to get through the damn gate, and I don't know where this stupid button is. It's up there. How am I supposed to... I can't get that from here. I can't survive long enough to get up there, either. I'm not going to be able to, like, hit it from here. Caviar Key features painted scenes, a luxury five-star resort built over the remains of Tuna Macha. I feel like it's because Will has plot armor, he's just OP. You know, you're absolutely correct. I mean, I know he went and, like, hid in the... You know. And number one, create the Demogorgon's flying creature as Mind Flayer, or is he a product of the Upside Down, twisting and contorting him? I don't think he created them. I, I, that doesn't seem like... Necessarily... It doesn't seem like a thing he should be able to do. How about that? It doesn't seem like a thing he should be able to do, but I guess we'll find out. I feel like in the last two episodes when those do come out, they're going to kind of explain a little bit more about the Upside Down and how it works in that sense. God, you keep wanting me to get this alligator and I cannot get this goddamn alligator. It's a crocodile, I guess. That's the level 15 one. Too, and I'm just like, no. How do I get through that goddamn gate? That's what's gonna, that's what's pissing me off. I just want to go do that. How do I get through the goddamn gate? Yo. to know if the Demogorgon escapes and kills the Russians. I mean, it probably does. I think it did escape, although they haven't quite shown it yet. That's if you are to wait till you're an adult to get stuff from other parts of the game. So you're literally just swimming around, eat the fuck out of everything, get like 2 XP to level up. Like, uh, 
This is worse than actual childhood. Also, these other fucking fish, fuck them. the alligator and then I'm good but these other motherfucks getting in the damn way it's the problem ah just to make me bigger <laughs> just makes you bigger okay there's a chest down there wasn't there anyway find chest and landmarks I want him too fairly certain he did No, it wasn't a chest down here. It was one of these, though. Okay. Well, maybe that'll get me someplace new and interesting, yeah? As a result of industrial Dead Horse Lake. Hey, alright. But the secondary is a lot easier than dealing with the gators. Fair enough, Reverend. Thank you guys for the tips. Chests make you bigger. I know there's still more chests over there. I just haven't found them. But yeah, we'll get to this area then. And uh, hopefully... Hopefully that's a little better. Just like nuclear waste? <laughs> I need to eat some fish. Yeah, this is definitely a little bit better of a feeding ground, I guess. Higher level fish to eat. Stuff from other parts of the game. I'm sorry, I'm tr so trying not to miss stuff in chat, and I am. And I apologize. I'm so sorry. I'm trying to keep up. Sometimes it's hard for me to focus. Is totally a nuclear reactor under the water. That seems bad. Who did this? Shame on them. Have to go now? Alright, Ben. Thank you for hanging out again, buddy. You have a good rest of your day, and we'll hopefully get to see you tomorrow, too, because, you know, we'll be here. Okay, so the sonar is okay for that, I guess. Future downfall of civilization. Perfectly safe, right? Anyway, yeah, Ben, you have a good day, buddy. Okay, I guess upgrading the sonar is not necessarily a bad idea. Okay, so you can get quite a bit from... Dirty bulk. Say I think there was something else I saw. But dirty bulk. That was my nickname in high school. That actually was not my nickname in high school. My nick the only nick did I even have a nickname in high school from anybody? I don't think I did. I don't think I did. I was not a popular guy in high school. I just was not. And that's okay. I had my friends. I was good. I don't think anybody really had any nicknames for me. There was one girl who called me Red. And the reason she called me Red is not because I'm a ginger. It's because I smoked more Royal Reds. And I'm like, that makes not a lot of sense, but okay. <laughs> she was just like, shut up, Red. And I was like, okay. Girl. Like, <laughs> girl, talk me good. Me shut up. Listen. Right? Like... Maybe if I shut up and listen, 
then I can touch a boob. Right? So you had a nickname but didn't know it? Right. I mean, yeah, I mean, I probably did in that sense. Like, a mean nickname. I'm not talking about a mean nickname, though. I'm talking about a fun, friendly nickname. Okay, so I can totally use the... Okay. Acquired adult. Called me five dollar. <laughs> do it. Do we want to know why they called you five dollar? And like this was known to you? Did, were these friends? Was this a good, a fun nickname or a bad nickname? Like, should some people get their asses kicked over it? Probably five dollar for the hand jobs. You know, I had a feeling it was gonna be something like that. At least it's just hand jobs, I suppose. It'd be a little depressing to think anything more than that was only worth five dollars. I could see five for a hand job, though. Also, I gotta point it out. I gotta throw this out there of... I hope you know I'm just... I'm hopefully laughing along with you about it. Yeah, like, if this shit is true, like, anytime you say shit like that, if it's true, I hope you know I'm la trying to laugh with you about it, not at you. I'm choking, of course, because five bucks for a hand job. You know how much work that is? Didn't give a hand job in my science class one time. Just in the middle of class. That is class C. Ho oh, oh. ho. See what I did there. Okay, so that should be able to get us through there, maybe. Cut a hole in his pocket and put my hand in there. Like, why? That seems like a lot of work to go through to just wind up jizzing your pants. Because it was hand job, so it's definitely where it's going, right? Oh, okay, this is just like secret tunnels. That just, yeah, that just seems like a lot lot of way. And then you have, what do you do about the hole, right? It didn't jizz, I only did it a few minutes. <laughs> Still. Still. Ooh, Barracuda. And an alligator. The Barracuda has a mouthful of teeth, each different, each carefully designed to decimate its prey. Oh my god. Ah. I could have swore I saw a chest under here. called Slayer because I wore a lot of Slayer shirts. On my off time in the army, but nothing in high school other than long hair f Yeah, that fucking weird satanic guy, yeah. Eventually well, the end of high school kind of just turned in all into a joke, though. Even had a laugh at mock cursing people. Yeah. Yeah, that is the thing to do with it, is just make it more ridiculous to them than it is to you. Alright, so that was where I came in. Let's see where this goes out. Sorry, I'm like so trying to concentrate on both and it's not working. <laughs> this one's sort of not working, I guess. Never one to pass up a fat fiesta. Yeah, I mean, that was definitely a thing for me too, man. Like, like I wasn't really picked on necessarily. People just liked to fuck with me a little bit. And I did get into a f one fight. My mom got scared. She sent me to live with my auntie and my uncle in Bel Air. But outside of that... Fucking alligators. Always goddamn alligators. I don't want to fuck with you. 
Little stupid ass bitch, I ain't fucking with you. Ah, fuck off. Catfish is easily distinguished from other species by yeah, the that's scaleless bodies yeah. and signature whiskers. I got in one fight, one actual fight, and I had a wallet with a chain on it because of course I did. I was apparently that kid, and um, I wrapped the chain around my fist and knocked the fuck out of this dude. Up the yeah, shit arms. definitely stopped then. Because <laughs> then it was, oh, this dude doesn't give a fuck. He's, he might accidentally kill somebody. And I'm like, yeah, I might. Because you know what? Fuck you. Alright, so we made it to teenagehood. I guess we found everything we can in these tunnels, yeah? I'm like, where do I, where do I go from here though? I don't... Is that where I came in from? And the one really bloody fight that I won after about three months of constant jumping after school, then the worst of it stopped. Yeah. Generally is is how it goes. You either get friends or you kick someone's ass. It sucks. It sucks bad. Like it shouldn't be like that. It shouldn't be like that in high school. At all. This enzyme protein makes a great between meal supplement. Giving the shark the energy she needs to put on serious bats. Death roll. The shark's skin has chemo receptors that taste the water for possible. are a little easier. Still a pain in the ass, though. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's how it goes. You know, we can't all be $5 over there just making friends with handies. You know, just give the old handshake and they're good. If you know what I mean. So close, okay. Let's try one more time here. Nah, we're not gonna make it out of there. Still had the hair and still love the nerdy shit heavy metal, so even the beatings didn't really change me. Good. That's like the big thing, right? Is not letting it change who you are as a person. Even though that's the intent there, right? Like to literally terrify you into not being yourself. And to disliking who you are because of it. And you won. Yeah, you absolutely won because of that. 10,000% you won that. So, yeah, no, congrats on that, man. Because that, that's tough. That is tough to do. I mean, in general, remaining who you are and true to yourself and who you want to be all throughout life is tough. Like, even when you're older, it's like, shit, man, life just beats you down. Life just beats you down, and it fucking blows. But if you can stay who you are, that says something. 
without compromising your morals and values. Now we're being all philosophical and shit. See what y'all have done? Do you see what you've done? And again, mine wasn't so bad. It wasn't so much just... It wasn't like bullying in any sort of a traditional sense, for sure. That was not the case. Um, you know what? I think there was one over here, but it was just as adult, right? It does. And of course, you inevitably change a bit. But I found as long as I'm happy with myself and change because I want to versus people wanting me to, leads to a happier life. It's absolutely correct. Now, there's nothing wrong with using the criticisms of others to figure out what you don't like about yourself and then changing it because you want to. That's absolutely okay. But you just have to make sure you're doing it for the right reasons. Yeah, required adult, I thought so. I don't think there's anything else over here. But yeah, that, that absolutely leads to a happy life. Life's too short to not be the person you want to be and do the things you want to do. Period. End of story. Yeah, I'm not really seeing anything else over here, so... I guess we're done in this area. That's not where we came in. That's over here, I think, right? No? Yes? Maybe? Yeah, that's where we came in. Change for the better from constructive criticism. Even non-constructive criticism can be a thing, right? Like... But it's up to you deciding. This is my decision to change this. Some shark this. species practice cannibalism in utero. Because again, it can be that Quite thing where somebody points something out and you're like, you know what? I really don't like sharks. this about myself. Even if they did it out of mean-spiritedness. Alright, we need to go back to the grotto. I hate the nurse in DVD. <laughs> yeah. I hate all of them in DVD. <laughs> Played against one. Yeah, man, I can't. And I know I'm li I've, I've put down Evil Dead. I've put down Evil Dead. For now. Definitely gonna get back to it. Just for the time being, whoever the time being is. I've put it down for a little bit to play something else because I was getting a bit burnt out on it and frustrated. That's the other thing. I was getting super frustrated with that game because it's definitely at that point where there's so much sweatiness going on. It depends on how you decide to take criticism. It took a lot of what happened. It became less abrasive, less offensive for the sake of it and grew as a person. Right, exactly. Because there is a... I used to be an asshole. Period. End of story. I used to be an asshole. And I know I was an asshole because everybody told me I was an asshole. Now, the difference between now and then, why I'm no longer an asshole, is that I didn't like it. I didn't like who I was. There was a point back then where somebody would say, oh, you're an asshole. And I'd wear it like some kind of badge of honor. Right? And how fucked up is that? I'm an asshole. Hey, I piss people off because I'm a dick. Yay, I'm happy about this. Why should you be happy about that? Right? So that was what I used to do. I was 
I was that guy. I was that friend that you had to be careful who you introduce to because you know you don't know what we don't know what he's gonna say. He could say some messed up stuff, might offend someone. Right? Even and it just really sure, wasn't cool. It's important to create personal time for sober self reflection. I can't even Ugh get the advanced sonar. Oh god. I want more evolutions, damn it. Well alrighty then. I want actual stuff. I'm tired of not having actual stuff. Uh, okay. So yay for super advanced fucking sonar. That barely does me any good. I need out of here. How do you hit that button though? Or how do you get to other... Because I can't get through any of those. What about, can we go that way? I haven't gone that way. But yeah, that was a conscious decision still on my part of I don't want to be that person anymore. You know, because it's, I'll tell you what it is. I'll tell you what it is. It's the person who uses the truth as a weapon. That's an asshole. That's the people who think that they are not, but they are totally just assholes. You know, I'm telling you the truth, and I know it's going to piss you off. I know it's going to hurt you. But I'm doing it anyway because, well, the truth is hard. The truth is difficult. It's not my fault you can't handle the truth. You know, when sometimes you just don't have to be a dick. Wound up losing myself for a while in high school. Walked into it a mild-mannered enjoyer of heavy metal for a few years. I was an absolute dickhead, and only after that realized I needed to adjust from both harsh criticism outside my friend group and some from inside. Front. Yeah, exactly. And that's the thing, and you listened. It may have taken some time, but you listened, and were like, you know what, you're right. Because when your friends no longer want to be around you, that's a problem. That's not just somebody being a dick. That is a problem. Oh my god. There is nothing... I want, uh, I feel like there's nothing for me to do. I don't know how I'm supposed to do some of this shit. I know, I'm just being whiny now. I've got two out of ten license plates. Four out of ten landmarks. Ten out of seventeen. That was it. Ah, but yeah, that was that was where I was. I had some friends that were just like, "Yeah, because you're a dick, I can sit here and be let you be a dick, and I don't have to worry about hurting somebody's feelings." There was a point where I would say, I would say, I would just say what everybody else was thinking, which is true, but I didn't have to be a dick. Oh no, it's a whole thing. It's definitely a whole thing. High school sucks. And I think, I think Stranger Things is showing bullying, but I think they're showing the, for lack of a better term, the romanticized picture of bullying, where it is like actual physical art altercations, people literally tripping you in the hallways and shit, right? Which isn't always what happened. That's not a majority of bullying. Okay, can we come up here? Shit, man. Man, I still cannot take on these sharks easily and... What the hell? That was some bullshit. I can't even see this motherfucker. Come on.
which it does happen most of it's just snide remarks and rumors. Exactly. And that's the thing. It's more casual bullying, for lack of a better description. Yeah, and I think that's the side that's not... It, like, we get the Hollywood version of bullying. Or, yeah, that, that does happen. It does happen. But, yeah, it's absolutely not as common as people whispering behind as you walk by and spreading rumors and shit like that. People are quick to provoke and then play the victim when shit goes down. Hard lesson I had to learn. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely agree. Absolutely agree. So, yeah, I, again, I just think it's, and, and it's so weird to say, a romanticized version of bullying. Yeah. This is what people who weren't bullied think bullying looks like. Son of a bitch, leave me alone. I'm not even hurting anybody or nothing. want to collect get collectibles and get out of here and not have to deal with these goddamn alligators who are so much higher than me see level 15 fucking 15 come on Right, epic battle again, yes. Always with the epic battle. Fuck. Well, again, if I could fucking lock on... Ah! If I had a true lock on and I didn't keep getting stuck at the top of the fucking water... Ah! Popular people writing about what they think bullying is. I don't even know if it's so much like popular people. I think it's just what we recognize more as bullying. Like, the general population is going to see that and go, Oh, that's bullying. You know, and we'll be able to easily recognize what it is. Even though the rest should be fairly fucking easily rec- Why are there three? Are there three goddamn alligators? My god. Well, do we finally have a human target? Have I not been over here before? Pedal faster, must pedal faster. <laughs> At this point, I'm 30, and in the workforce, nothing really bothers me because at the end of the day, I do my job, get paid, and associate myself with good people. Right, you have that choice of dealing with people or not dealing with people. Absolutely agree. Yeah, it's much easier as an adult to deal with that shit. Much, much easier. Like where where's what level 
Ah, uh, I'm not even close to level 7. I don't even know how I got here, to be honest. <laughs> Sunshine improvised sunshine warehouse. Until I read it contains seven hormone disrupting chemicals and palm oil. No one's adult. Required adult. I need an adult. I'm like, how the hell did I even get over here? I don't even know. Yeah, it requires adult. What's the other one? 84? I mean, Alright, see, there's a chest down there. How do I get to that? But yeah, it is absolutely a lot easier as an adult, required adult. See, everything's easier as an adult. Everything means you have to be an adult. <laughs> the fuck? It is much easier as you're older to avoid most people that are like that. In high school, you're forced. It's a fucking... Ugh. It's a fucking prison, is what it is. It's a prison. <laughs> that you are forced to participate in. And people are awful. You can't get away. You just can't get away. Any body of water saturated with sewage or slaughterhouse wastes can be quite appealing to sharks. Anyway, <laughs> like high school wasn't that bad. I did hate it, but it wasn't that bad for me. I guess not bad in that sense. So there's that. Are we at we're at ten thirty now. Oh God. <laughs> right. I just don't know if I can go on anymore, man. I can't do it. Led a largely solitary life now since leaving the army and it has been a life of peace. I mean, dude, you were in the army anyway. Like, that's... That's a whole nother level of mind fuck. let's be honest. That is military service... It's definitely a whole nother level of mindfuck. Oh, I mean, as long as you got, took something out of it, it worked out for you. Great. So happy to hear it. Not for me. Not for me. My dad was in the Navy for 20 years when I was growing up. This is my boomstick! Very true. Got your degree from it. Yep. Exactly. And that's that's the only reason I would have gone into the military. Is for the educational benefits. Get my get made smart on the on the public's dime. can't get away from this motherfucker. Come on. Like, I can't keep focused on him enough to fucking do anything. And I can't get away fast enough to do anything. Like, come on. And there's never enough fish around for me to eat to stay alive. Ah. Let's see. It's 15 bucks for the DLC. Four years in dip. Nice. My dad retired from the military. He retired Navy.
Come on, get away from the... Yes, thank you. Right, I need a fucking fish to eat, please. Ah, not that it matters, because, hey, I'm just going to come up and bite you in the ass real quick and take out half of that you just got. The spirit is so hot to know that would smash, right? Like, they didn't have to make her hot, but they did. See, this is what I'm talking about, the frustrating thing in this damn game. It wouldn't be so bad. And then there's another alligator for no good goddamn reason. Just, hey, have another fucking alligator. got the other alligator on my ass now for no fucking reason. What? Oh, that was some bullshit. Stay fucking focused, you piece of shit. There we go. Finally. Fuck. I hardly got any fucking XP for that. Are you kidding me? That was so not worth it. <laughs> if I had money, I would do it, but I don't know how much more it comes with. I want more areas. We need at least three to justify it. Ignore your typos. No worries. We do. We always ignore the typos. So to be honest, I would like more story, new areas, maybe like a megalodon size to justify a purchase. Megalodon is hot. <laughs> Ooh, woo, megalodon. Nani. Uh, there is a shark dating game. I was like, has anybody made a shark dating? They have. I remember they have. Undiscovered. Where is it? <laughs> exactly. Megalodon is big sexy. As far as... Uh... How do I even get to that? Is what I don't understand. Oh yeah, that's right. There's a big... There's like a drainage thing over here that I can't do because I'm not an adult. No shit. Or can I now? I thought it said I had to be an adult. <laughs> Man eater is so loud. Do I need to turn do I need to turn it down? Actually I did want to ask about that. How is the sound balance and shit? Cause Stop it. Down. Go down, damn it. How many times has somebody said that in a day? Just go down. I just want you to go down. Go <laughs> no, I played it right now. Gotcha. Okay, yeah, I wasn't sure if... These scavengers of the sea Aye, are vital son of a bitch. the ocean floors of edible and semi-edible detritus. <laughs> oh, it's really loud. Yeah, it is, it is a loud game. I, I believe I did have to go with just the sound. Just bring it down a notch or two. I'm like, should I just eat all these goddamn fish? Is that what I should be doing? I don't even get that much XP for it. Like, uh... Yeah, there is there definitely is a shark dating game. I remember that. 
It's like um, the pigeon one. H had to fool boyfriend. Yeah, had to had to fool boyfriend. Yeah. Uh, where it's the pigeons. It's with sharks instead. And I know in Hattiful Boyfriend you can choose the models for the birds. Or they can be like people. I wonder. No. Okay. Yeah, I'm never I'm not gonna be able to get to that yet until I get the double jump. Oh wrong button. I, should, I mean if I got the level fifteen one, I should be able to get this alligator. Cause this one's like level eight. Should be a little easier. Hmm. I am like, what fucking time is it? 10.30. Okay. We've got about about 20 minutes to or so left. Yeah, yeah, 20 minutes or so left. Um, are, are you guys okay with Maneater? Now that you've seen me playing, um, there is that question of how do you feel about Maneater? Is it something that I should play again? Or should I find something else? Because I need, do need to sprinkle in. i got to play something besides Evil Dead. Yeah. <laughs> I was also maybe going to play The Last of Us Part 2 because I actually haven't played that one yet. So thoughts and opinions are always welcome as well as game suggestions as we've mentioned in the past. Uh, how do you even get that one? Jesus. So as you can see, Maneater was suggested. And I said, hmm, that sounds slightly pornographic. Okay. I think about checking out the old school Evil Dead games myself. I would love to do that. Um, from what Mark has said, they're pretty easy to pirate, but they can be difficult to get running. From what he has said. Um, so there's things that are going to be coming out that I'm definitely going to get. Uh, Callista Protocol. I'm definitely going to be getting that. That's not out till December. And then there's, uh, speaking of horror games, the uh, the Dead Space remake. I'm definitely going to be picking up too. Um, I have some. Of, I have some of the Resident Evil games. I could totally play those. Um, RE2 remake? I could. I, I've played it. I've definitely played it. It's been a little while. Um, shit that I can pick up on cheap is always good. A complex combination of sensory devices. God damn it. To the bull shark's as a hunter. Oh my god, I just want to eat. Fuck you, dude. Oh my god. Unlock the mystery surrounding the habits of our secretive squalor. Can you turn around? Okay, turn around. Right. Those are very much like the original. I think they may have a bundle with two and three for cheap. They might. They tend to have the bundle on those. Um... I have played two. 
I have not played three yet. Ah, son of a bitch. Ah, oh, come on. What? Stop. And there's another one, right? Is that it? Yeah, no, it's one of the other fucking fish, but still. <coughs> hey, and just throwing this out there. This is a whole other situation. Um, I do my best when you guys are like, Hey, you should play this game. I do my best to make it happen. I can't always do that. But I will do my best to make it happen. Um, but... Oh, this sounds like really bad when I think about it now. Um, if a game is gifted to me, I will always play it. Like, uh, Evil Within, um, I got that as a gift and played it on stream. So that's always a thing, too. Um, and again, that sounds really bad to say, but it is a thing that I will do. So, yeah, I mean, that's always a thing. So if it's something where I'm like, you know, I don't know if I'm going to play this. I don't know if I have the money to play this. But it's something you're really just like, hey, you should play this. And that is a thing. Um, is it missing a leg? I like bit one of those motherfuckers' legs off. Down, 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 down. Yeah, so that that's definitely a thing. Yeah, he's like missing his legs. He's just a head with a tail. <laughs> that's ridiculous and weird, and I don't like it. Okay, so that's like all of that. Torpedo Gator, right? It's nothing but a head, a, like a mouth and a fucking tail. And that's it. Oh, okay. I have two Xbox games, Boomstick and Regeneration. Were those on the original Xbox? I don't remember which ones they were. Oh, she's showing me Evil Dead the game. They were on the original Xbox. Really? Yeah, no, Hail to the King was the original PlayStation one. Evil Dead Regeneration. You can get one used for 20 bucks ish. Or 55 on eBay, apparently. That's the thing. Huh. Might have to look into that, yeah. Because I've got an OG Xbox that my fiance purchased for me because she knows I'm a nerd like that. She got me um, Fable and the. Uh, the Two Towers, Lord of the Rings game as well. So I was like, hey, <laughs> you spoiled me, yay. All right, what are you that's over here undiscovered? Let's go see. At least it's marking shit on the map for me now. And I'm also like, as much as I swam around this fucking place, how have I not seen this until now? It was always awesome. Two Towers was intense, especially at Home's Deep. Yes. Oh, jeez. It's the Peter Pan clock. The clock a dial. Ha <laughs> ha! That's. 
it's okay, you can unsubscribe now, because I just said Clocodile. I think that's a wonderful pun, but... like there can't be that much left in this area I don't know got the references yeah the references are good the references are very good so far yeah they definitely had some pun lovers Okay, I can't get in there because that requires being an adult, so why did you mark that shit for me, you assholes? And I can't get over there because those require being an adult, I believe, as well. Yeah, or else I would have smashed through them by now. Yeah, it required adults, so... I mean, just in case y'all forgot about me, we did not forget about you, Ambers. I assumed you might still be here in silent mood, silently waiting for us to go visit Mark so that you can get your flirt on. Five dollar gotta make some money. <laughs> Lima. Careful, she's a mod now. She has power. Unimaginable power. Unimaginable power! Yeah, well, I guess it was unlimited power, is technically what he said. So I don't know, Rev has a GF and my heart broke. Oh, womp womp. Horse Lake has Good for you, though, Rev. That's awesome. Public debate about human progress. Dead Horse Lake. Complete Dead Horse Lake revenge. How do you even. I don't know. There's not anything left over here that I can find. Look how the fuck? <laughs> oh, my daddies aren't really my daddies. Oh, womp womp bow, chicka bow well. Evil Dead Regeneration is a graduation gift, so she's a keeper. Yeah, no, absolutely, because she understands your... She understands you. That's really what it comes down to. That is really what it comes down to. <laughs> Meanwhile, we got Ambers over here, like... <laughs> Cash app, right? Here's a link to my OnlyFans, fam. Again, I would, but... Two problems. Number one, nobody probably wants to see that. Nobody wants to see that. Number two, I feel like Fiance may have an issue with that. I have an OnlyFans. Can't be flirting with Taken men. Oh, you can flirt with Taken men all you like. 
you have absolutely zero responsibility for how they react to it. <laughs> it makes my shit talk group smaller, right? Well, again, you can flirt with taken men all you like, so... What happens after that is up to them. There, there's that whole idea... We'll call it the home wrecker theory. There's the home wrecker theory where it's like, hey, you stole my man, or you stole my woman. It's like, no, I didn't steal shit. You already dropped the ball, yo. That is not on me. Hey, new area. All right. I can't. I call men dogs. <laughs> well, because again, that's like the thing of the artist spent six trash man by pretentious <laughs> trash pulled from the lake, only to have it thrown back in the lake by intoxicated locals. <laughs> nice. Um. So that's the thing again. I got to explain with you know me and fiance. I was married. I was married. She was with a dude. We were both super unhappy. She's not the first. She's not the first woman to come on to me. She's not the first woman to flirt with me. She probably won't be the last. The difference is I'm happy and fulfilled and it's her. It's only her. And that like that's the big thing that I try to explain to her cuz she has a lot of anxiety about it cuz she's been cheated on, she's cheated on, been cheated on, horrible relationships, you know, abusive, you know, so she's had it rough in the past with people, and she's worried that I'm going to end up that way, and I'm like, no, because here's the thing, it couldn't have been just anybody, it was only her that could have got me to leave, you know what I'm saying, like, people have tried, people have always tried, because I'm a sexy motherfucker, but only she succeeded. No one else could have done that. But we're also getting married now. It's three years later. Like Until longest date ever. Speaking of, over jurisdiction, these two but ultimately that was my decision. That was my decision. That was one thousand percent my decision. That's not on her at all. Oh, thank you. It, it's... Man... It's not easy. Oh, look, we got people. We can eat our first people. Shark attacks on boats appear to be motivated more by a desire to destroy the boat than an anarcho-primitivist rejection of technology. Fuck your boat! Oh my god, a shark! I'm like, where are we now? Hey, we made it. Was... I guess that's gonna be behind me somewhere. We are just about to have to wrap this up for the day. We're gonna be getting there. So, again, as always, thanks for hanging out. If you haven't, don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, whatever you need to do on the platform of choice to get notified we're live. Come back and see us hang out again sometime. We'll uh, get a raid set up. Um, who do we want to raid? Who do we want to raid? Do we want to raid? We can raid Mark if you guys want to. Or if you'd rather I find somebody who's still playing Maneater to raid, you can do that too. And discover the absolute serenity deep within her soul. Still, still, still nothing. I can't upgrade a damn thing. <laughs> GG streamer. Yeah, we because we're probably gonna go. Yeah, we're gonna get moving on that. So, literally a lot of stuff to do in the game now. <laughs> I mean, there's other games. There's other games. Um, I would probably hold off on the DLC if you're not sure about it. But there are other games. Profound sense of sadness when I completed this game. Man, it's like that. 
it be like that when you finish games. If it's, especially if it's a really fun experience. It's only me that you want to see get eaten. A play man eater, I'm sorry. Whoa, here she comes. Watch out, boys, she'll chew you up. She's a man eater. Who is that, Hall and Oats? Man eater. I feel like that was Hall and Oats. Elden Ring Rune gaming for me for like two months after I completed it. Yeah, that was a tough one to finish. That was a tough one to finish, which is part of the reason why. Um, what about the quarry? You guys want to find somebody playing the quarry? Got to play the best Berserk game that wasn't Berserk ever, right? Play Dragon's Dogma, Reverend. If you haven't, play Dragon's Dogma. Pick that up. You can usually get it pretty cheap. No, we don't want to watch the quarry. Okay, well, let's see if there's anybody else. You said I'm the only one you want to see playing Maneater, but... We can't just raid Mark all the time. I guess we, we can. Yeah, Dragon's Dogma is awesome. I want to play and I don't want to see that. Gotcha. Okay, that makes sense. Got the promotional movie pack with Griffiths and Guts armor sets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same here. Same. Absolutely the same. Well, you know, we'll go ahead and raid Mark anyway, because y'all are going to be over there. But do y'all want to see Planet Zoo? Do you just want to see me play Planet Zoo? I have the Jurassic Park game. That's as close as I have to Planet Zoo right now. We can do that one day. I'll have to get it installed, but we can do that one day. Um, yeah, I'll definitely get that installed, and we'll do that one day. I'm not good at those games, but we'll have fun, I'm sure. All right, we're going to go... Yeah, we're just going to... We're just going to do what we always do. We're going to raid Mark with our itty-bitty raid. So, again, thank you for hanging out, as always. Thank you for the follows that came and just being here and being awesome. I super appreciate that. I, I literally... You guys are making me want to continue streaming. You know, I, I, it's hard for me to want to stream when there's when nobody gives a shit. Let's be honest. Nobody gives a shit. But you guys showing up make it all worthwhile so thank you plus i get to hang out with a bunch of cool people and that's always awesome so thank you it's because of you guys that i keep doing this so if y'all keep showing up i'll keep blowing up yeah that was stupid we're gonna raid now